What's up, trans of the gang? This tutorial will not take long because, you know, I already had makeup on for work today. I'm doing it after work. Um, if you can see my face, I got a little bit of foundation on, but I need to touch it up for video's sake. And if you want a quick look for work, like, I didn't even think to, well, I don't think I had time anyway, but um, I didn't do a video this morning, but um, if you put, you know, especially if you got decent skin, you got fair, um, not fair skin, but clean skin, um, if you don't, that's fine too, because you got foundation to cover, but um, You do a, a, a touch up on your foundation. You do you do a foundation, do a clean face. You don't have to do no eye colors. This is what I do when I'm in a rush. Um, or if I don't feel like doing a whole like a whole face, I just do the bare minimum. So my thing is, if you, as long as you got some lashes, some lipstick, and some coffee, you're doing, you're doing good. Okay. I guess what I need: my lashes, my lipstick, my coffee, or my tea, or or caramel macchiato. I have to have mine in the morning before I start my day. Sometimes two cups of tea. Or whatever or coffee you know I have one doing my my ritual my morning ritual so you put some foundation on okay okay and I always get my trusty brush just blend it in like I said, this is a quick, it don't really take that long. You put your glue, you put the glue on the lashes. You can, while you're doing this, you can have the glue already on the lashes and letting it dry, not dry, but get a little tacky so it'll adhere to your natural lash real fast. So I do my foundation. I have, I go ahead on and take the tip of my spoolie and get the glue and put on my lashes, but I have them laying down on the case. And by the time I get through putting my foundation on, the lashes are ready to go on. There's, the glue is tacky, and it's ready to go on, and you good. So the next step is get your spoolie. Remember I said train your eyebrows. Okay, I like to do this before and after I apply. And you can use, if you don't have a eyebrow tint or whatever, I take some dark out of my um, eyebrow. This is improvising. That's what I do. I improvise. I don't even want to use that one. But you take one of your app, makeup applicators. If you got some eyeshadow that's about, about like a chocolate. Wait a minute. Hold up. See that? It's like a chocolate. And you start right here behind the brow and just brush it on just to, get, to make them fuller. To fill them in. Okay? Start right here. And don't worry if you get some outside the eyebrow line, line. You can, like I said, you can clean it up. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to get some tissue. Or you can get a wet wipe. Or you can get the foundation. The, um, the beauty blender. But before I do that, let me brush the the brow powder in or the eye the eyebrow powder in let me brush it in okay and see how they look so then you have these gorgeous eyebrows they look like you just got them done you put your little brown eyebrow filler in and yes you can rub it in with your finger if you need to um, sometimes if you, if you got extra time, you can put a little highlighter, like I told y'all the other day when I did the how to look rich 
um, makeup tutorial um, with the with the highlighter. But this morning, foundation, eyelashes. I drew my line on. It don't take that long. If you practice during the weekend, it won't take you that long. I glued I glued the lashes on, pressed my natural lash in, and put my little eyebrow powder here to give me fuller to fill in my eye, my eyebrows. And then um, you can get a nude color. Like today, I felt like doing nude. So I'm going to do nude. But you can do your lips like tomorrow, I'm going to do my face like this. And I might get up in the morning and do a full makeup tutorial if I got time, if I don't get up late. But um, this is the highlight. This is the Shea Butter Lip Gloss High Shine by LA Colors. It's called... I think this one is called Vixen. No, it's called Wink. And see it? It's that nude color. I felt like putting this on today. I ain't feel like putting on them. But you can always... You can put on a pink, a burgundy. Um, It's getting ready to get cold. So everybody's going to be back in the dark colors. I wear whatever color I want to wear. It don't matter what time of year it is. If I feel like wearing burgundy, I don't care if it's summertime. I mean, you can wear what you like. Some people like to wear colors in season. I like colors, so I may wear mine in or out. I don't think when it comes to makeup, I don't think that's a big issue. But today I wanted to be new. I wanted to do the new look. So there you have it, you guys. And I think I showed y'all this before. But I might do it tomorrow like a full face beat um, like this. But you see, you only do the foundation. You do you fill in the brows, put your lashes on, draw your line, and you got your lip gloss. That's not a lot. One, two, three, and four, and you're out of the door. You see what I'm saying? So if you know, if you get up late or you just sometimes lazy and you still want to look Okay, put a little foundation on and put them lashes on and do your eyebrows and keep it pushing. And you you good for work. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about if you ever have a question about colors at work, <clears throat> you can always go to the new look. New look is universal. It goes over well wherever you go. Everybody's doing the new looks, new lips. Um, nude eye shadows and pink nude and beige nude and my eyes still my eyes look like I got foundation on them. like sometimes if I touch them up with I mean not foundation but color um, I don't have any color on my eyes now I know why people used to always ask me when they see me if I don't have on makeup they be like do you have on some kind of makeup because it looks like you do and I'm they was like yo you you know, one girl actually, I said, you can just rub my eyes. There's nothing on them. And she was like, you just got these eye, these eyes that look like they they have color on them. Nope, that's my skin. But it's always been like that. And I have a natural highlight on my brow. When I'm, when, without this brow, you can see the natural highlight. But I will call this my five to maybe ten minute makeup tutorial because you want to make sure you take the time to blend that, that foundation really good so i'll say 10 minutes in the morning if you got 10 minutes you can knock this out in 10 minutes or less i can do it probably in five i'm sure because i'm used to it i can put my eyelashes on in the car driving but i try not to do that so i can be focused but yeah allow yourself 10 minutes have you a beat face so, yeah, I'm going to call this my 10-minute natural makeup work tutorial. I don't know, but you still look glamorous, but you still look appropriate for work. It's not too much. It's not overdone. It's not full beat glam with the highlights. You can even put the highlights on if you want. I already did that for y'all, um, but... At work, that's not really necessary, especially with the kind of work I do where I'm sweating and all that. I just want to look decent and look grown and professional and be able to carry myself in a professional way. So, 
you know this is the 10 minute makeup tutorial if you like it give me a thumbs up also share this video with anyone and everyone that you know and also do not forget to um like comment and subscribe and also do not forget to click that notification bell so you will know every time i upload a new video if you would like for me to do more tutorials please let me know um and i will do them for you i love you trendsetter gang mm -hmm. bye and see you on the next video